How's it going everyone? Got some somewhat unfortunate news to cover in this video as a game has been delisted from the PlayStation Store forever. The exact reasoning behind the delisting hasn't been made exactly clear, but we'll talk about that. And you guys know I love me my JRPG. And we have a couple of updates to go over on a couple JRPGs in this video. We'll get to that in a little bit, but right off the top, Little Big Planet 3 has been delisted from the PlayStation Store. Now, this isn't that big of a deal, given that we are, in fact, still living in a world where, where physical games exist, you guys. This is why it might be a little bit important for us to have physical games uh, available. Now, if you look at the PlayStation Store, some of the DLC, as I am recording this video, is still available for Little Big Planet 3, but the game itself is no longer available. I believe it was a PlayStation Plus title at some point, and that version is not being impacted either. Um, but obviously, the game did see a physical release, so you're still able to buy that, and it's not like from what I can see, the price has been price gouged or anything like that. Like, I'm seeing listings on eBay for like $10 for the PlayStation 4 version of the game. $10 to $15 around that range, and there's some new copies as well. A little bit of history with Little Big Planet. I remember when LBP 1 came out in 2008, and there was a lot of talk and discussion about LBP becoming this big franchise for PlayStation. Now, unfortunately, I think the timing with LBP was the biggest issue. It came out in the fall of 2008, and while the people that played LBP 1 really enjoyed it, the issue was the PlayStation 3 at that point just wasn't there in terms of a lot of people picking it up. PS3s were more expensive than Xbox 360s, and you're talking about this family-friendly title. Well, if you're wanting to get a family-friendly game like this, most people are going to either pick up a Nintendo Wii or an Xbox 360. That's the cheaper option, and they just pick up games on there. The PS3 was kind of seen as this, I don't want to say premium, but almost, yeah, a premium console because of its hefty price of $400 for the 40 gigabyte model, and that's before the Slim came out. I think timing was the biggest issue for LBP. I think if... We were in a world where Little Big Planet never came out in 2008 and LBP was released today. I think it would do incredibly, incredibly well. We're just living in a different time and LBP won was received very well and commercially it obviously did well enough to warrant an LBP 2 and 3 but it's kind of unfortunate that Little Big Planet had never gotten the same type of traction that it feels like Astrobot is getting now even if uh, Astrobot uh, is a great game you know LBP I thought had a lot of mileage to it and it'll be interesting to see if they ever go back to it like LBP is still being kept around as like you know, a cosmetic here, a fan service showcase there, but it's not getting its own new game. It's not getting a Little Big Planet 4, which was a little bit of a bummer. Actually, LBP 3 wasn't even done by Media Molecule, if I recall correctly. It was done by Sumo Digital, so, you know, there's a little bit of a history lesson for you as far as that's concerned, but uh, game's great. LBP 3 is still worthwhile to play. Oh, and I do know we got Sackboy's A Big Adventure back in 2020, and um, yeah, that game was fine. It just wasn't amazing or anything like that, but unfortunate that LBP3 is being delisted. Now, the thing is, on PlayStation 5, you got backwards compatibility. I'm sure on PlayStation 6, you're gonna have backwards compatibility, so the fact that this physical copy is gonna exist in perpetuity, like, it's not that big of a deal. What is a big deal is when a game like Transformers War for Cybertron gets delisted everywhere, and it's stuck in PlayStation 3 purgatory. There's no backwards compatibility available for us to play that game without digging up our PS3. That's an issue, but I think going forward, PlayStation consoles are gonna have backwards compatibility. The bigger worry here, if for me is that, you know, are we going to move towards uh, an all digital gaming future come next generation? I think the PS5 Pro is certainly testing the waters for that, but this is another instance where because the game is available physically, it's not that big of a deal that it is getting delisted. Obviously, it sucks that you can't buy the game digitally anymore if you're a digital only guy, but in the end of the day, if you do want to play it, you have that physical option available to you. That's why if you're getting a PS5 Pro, I don't know, maybe snag up the disc drive as well. I mean, you're spending $700 on a console. Might as well spend the extra, uh, whatever it is, $80 to get the disc drive as well. So you can have uh, perpetual access to physical base games. But that is that LBP3 delisted from the PlayStation Store. I'll also 
Speaking of things getting delisted, I do want to mention that Dave the Diver's Godzilla DLC is going to be delisted later this month. That is a piece of DLC that you can redeem to your account without even owning Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver is available on Plus Extra, but jump on that. I'll do another video mentioning that ahead of the game getting pulled. So just be mindful of that as well, worthwhile, you know, to be on top of stuff like that. A couple of other notes that I do want to go over on some JRPGs. Tales of Graces F Remastered gets a gameplay trailer and the digital pre order is live right now now i gotta say when it comes to the tales of franchise you guys know me i'm a sucker for this series of games and i love a lot of the titles when we look at the games that could be remastered within the tales of franchise graces is not the one that i am going to lose my mind over i would have loved to see abyss however with abyss i really think it would do a lot of good to do a ground up remake on that game i know i know you guys are sick and tired of remakes but i think that's one game that deserves a full-on remake graces isn't a bad game it's a totally serviceable game it's just in my opinion when i look at graces compared to vesperia abyss and even even like a Berseria, obviously, and then even a Zillia. I would prefer Tales of Zillia over Grace Zeph. But you know what? They're eventually going to get through all of these games. I really do believe every single Tales of game is eventually going to be available, easily accessible on all platforms, and they're going to take their time with it. And I'm sure at this point, they are also working on the mainline next Tales of game because Tales of Arise came out all the way back in September of 2021. And uh, yeah, we're approaching four years since that game came out, or three years, it's a little over three years since it came out, but I'm sure the next mainline title is long in development. And we did get that piece of DLC, but Tales of Graces F is going to be priced at $39.99, that's fine, that's about the price point I expected, I believe they released Symphonia Remastered at that price point as well, so not too big of a deal there. And again, Graces is a good game, do I think it's an exceptional game? No, where I think Abyss, from a narrative standpoint at the very least, and character development standpoint, I think Luke's character arc is one of the best character arcs arcs in any JRPG I've ever played, so I am a sucker for Abyss, and I would just love to see that get remastered. Whatever, for now, we gotta deal with Graces, and if we're not getting Abyss remastered, a ground-up remake again would be tremendous. Lastly, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake has gotten its launch trailer, due out on November the 14th. It's a stunning reimagining of the beloved masterpiece and beginning to the Erdrick Trilogy. Uh, they do note some surprises are gonna be coming with this remake. HD 2D style is fantastic, and the launch trailer does uh, give us a good idea of what expect out of the game. Now, Dragon Quest, these games are a little bit before my time, so I'm excited to check it out, but the early DQ games aren't something that I can speak in depth about, but I'm sure a lot of people are excited for it, and it's on November 14th. Man, uh, November is not as crazy as October was, but there's still some big titles like DQ3 coming out that I think people are going to be excited for, but that is going to do it for me. Again, Little Big Planet 3 has been delisted forever on the PlayStation Store. Unfortunate news there, but the physical version is still available, and it's going for $10 to $15 on ebay you should be able to get it no problem tales of graces f remastered gets a gameplay trailer pre-orders open now 39.99 by the way there is a deluxe edition that is total memes for $60. $20 extra for digital art book. Get, get out of here. Get out of here with that one. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake gets its launch trailer ahead of November 14th. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.